spend my time with you. Good morning, Gina. Don't sing, don't uh, I sing. have to it's sing. It's early. a phenomenal day. Good morning, Detroit. We are uh, doing a little program here called Your Family Matters with Michael and Gina. We're here every Saturday at 7.30 on WLQV. And the broadcast that we do is a... Uh, it's part of an outreach ministry of the New Day Foundation for Families, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We serve children who've lost a parent to cancer. We hope that you'll uh, want to find out more uh, or even offer a donation online at foundationforfamilies.com. But today, G, is a special day. Why? Because my best friend is in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to uh, Colleen Shoemaker. Good morning. Good morning. Colleen is, uh, we're going to be talking with Colleen about some some serious stuff after the break around 8 o'clock, but she's going to be with us uh, for the duration. So we wanted to turn on her microphone and, and have her chime in. We've got a, a show that's packed today, um, but I, I do want to talk about one serious issue today before we uh, get into our morning roundtable, which will be in just a couple of minutes. Um, and we have a new member of the, the roundtable. I'm very excited about we that. We do. We, we got to introduce her uh, to the show on Wednesday when we filled in for Paul Edwards. Leslie Vernick will be joining us as a relationship expert. But that's in a couple of minutes. I want to talk about this thing I saw in the news this week. And this is from, I believe, uh, and the, the Today Show is where I first saw it. You know what hot, hot saucing is? Have you heard of hot saucing? Is it when you put hot sauce on your kid's tongue when they swear or do something Say something, you know, inappropriate. You are two for two. I cannot stump you today. <laughs> You're on. Please. I've heard of hot saucing. I think it's cruel. Well, uh, it's getting a little bit of play in uh, in the media. This and is, is this a tiger mom thing or is this it just is not, a... <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, that's not a tiger mom. Uh, this woman was, especially, she was on, of course, you know, heaven help us, Dr. Phil. But um, she, she's, she pours hot sauce on the tongue of her seven-year-old son. And not only that, this, the, she takes it further. She forces him into a a, a, a brutally cold, ice cold shower as part of punishment, part that's of discipline. That, no, honey, that yeah, that's child abuse. Well, that's that's part of the. But you know, then, then you back off of that and you you start talking about how do you discipline your children? And there's a new study out by uh, the Journal of Pediatrics, actually uh, researchers at Tulane University, talking about the long term effects of spanking. Now, a lot of parents. You know, they may not be breaking out the Tabasco sauce, but they do give the little darlings a little whack on the behind. Mm -hmm. And now there's studies out talking about the long-term effects of spanking have been studied, and they're not too surprising, at least to a guy like me. They're uh, they're they're resulting in more aggressive children. Um, and and the American Academy of Pediatrics (AAP) and we've heard Dr. Dane on a roundtable refer to AAP as the standard of of pediatric medicine in the, in this country, uh, they do not endorse spanking under any circumstances. "Quote: it, It's a form of punishment that becomes less effective with repeated use and also makes discipline more difficult as the child outgrows it." And this has always been my my point of view: is it's there's going to be a day when they get big enough and they look at you and say, "Okay, <laughs> doesn't hurt anymore." And where do you go from there? If that's right. your if that's your well, nuclear bomb, where I do you go? That, I think that that little that little you know smack on the butt is something that when there's the child's in danger and i mean if you use this regularly yes they'll become desensitized before it stops hurting i mean they'll, they, they won't recognize it anymore but i think that there are moments when there are children who are in a dangerous situation and you've repeatedly said to them no 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 and they because that's what children do especially the little ones but if you give them a little you know on the wrist or you know, a little pop on the bottom, that shocks them. It doesn't really hurt them. It's more the shock factor. And so there's there's spanking and then there's spanking. There's different def definitions of that. And I think that some definitions are completely off the map, abusive. And on the other end of the spectrum, they're helpful and precautionary for children. Well, we're talking about spanking and talking about disciplining your, chil your children. We have, uh, we have a variety of opinions. Um, if you'd like to join the conversation and uh, add your two cents, it's 866-423-9578, 866-423-WLQV. How do you do it? Um, how, do you keep, <laughs> how do you keep your kids in line? The American Academy of Pediatrics does not endorse spanking, quote, under any circumstances. The little whack on the behind you're talking about is not recommended by the experts. Mm-hmm. Or by me, or or by me, frankly, <laughs> and and I'm taking the sides of the experts this time. I'm usually a contrarian, but 
Um, I, the, the study is pretty, is pretty clear. Uh, it, the results are that kids are becoming more aggressive. And what the other thing is it, it, it shows, and here's, here's another quote from the study. Spanking sets not only sets a bad example, it teaches children that aggressive behavior is the solution to their parents' problem. Right. Again, I would say there. I could see that happening if, if parents repeatedly spank their children for things that are completely ridiculous. You know, you can't, that's not, to me, that's not how you discipline your child. That's how you teach your child not to get into a dangerous situation. Is hot saucing different? Well, I think it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's because, shocking. Well, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It I mean, doesn't... you can have to pry your kid's mouth open. I mean, there there is a there's a struggle going on there. But to tap <laughs> your child on the wrist or pat him on the butt and say no, don't do that because you're going to get hurt. There are people who are saying that hot saucing is is this generation's soap in the mouth. Yeah. Well. Yes, yeah, so it is a little bit, but it's that's her, one of them tastes bad. The other one hurts you. <laughs> do you think it's a new uh, marketing opportunity for the folks at Tabasco? <laughs> Oh, What's the matter? I'm with just you? asking sales. We're in a bad economy. We have to, you know, come up yeah. with new sales channels. Yeah, uh, I'm sure they have that conversation in their boardrooms. <laughs> well, I'm just imagining, what? gee, uh, our kids at home uh, throwing out all of the hot sauce in the in the house, <laughs> <laughs> just dumping it in the garbage. I almost thought you were going to say throwing up because no. not to be gross, but it's been a long week at the house. Yeah, <laughs> well, everybody's nice. everybody's had that bug. We, we could have used da- Dr. Dana on the speed dial. Oh, mm-hmm. really? It was a that was rough. Like, yeah. Every, burned through all five kids. <laughs> yeah, wow. the, that plus the snow days. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, I don't know if the kids have been have they have we had one full week since Christmas? No, we have not. With all of our kids? In school? Yeah. No. No. Not that I'm frustrated by that. <laughs> no, no. I you... mean, I'm not. It's but I mean, I don't I don't like to have sick children first of all, which nobody does want to have their kids sick homesick and but the snow days and everything else, I you know, we actually have work that we're supposed to do. Well, yeah. Uh, now, of Leslie's tips, just to review real quick, Leslie is asking you to be teachable, to confess your wrongdoing, and to look I to serve me. <laughs> what? It did goes get, both ways. Did I get the wrong tense? What happened? Oh, 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 it go, it, oh it's supposed to be both of us? Yes. Oh, dear. Give and take. Well, I'm so glad Colleen is here. I have to say it. Give and take. Really? <laughs> That's right. Oh, I, that is. Those are those are excellent. They are. Yeah, yeah. She's excellent. Uh, Leslie Vernick is terrific. You can uh, you can find her on leslievernick.com. She's written a, a number of of great books. Yeah. Available. I think she's written six or seven books. Yes. Oh yeah, she's quite got quite the library of her own. Yeah. In fact, somebody who called or who wrote in on Facebook said, "What are your two favorite books about marriage?" And I'm cracking up, thinking, "Well, she's got six she's... of her own." So, <laughs> I mean, what, I guess we put those aside. We should have asked her that. Yeah, and for all of you out there, you know, uh, going to party it, going to whoop it up tomorrow for Super Bowl Sunday. If you're drinking, don't take Tylenol the next night <laughs> for for the hangover. Uh, Doctor Dana says no on that one. I, I, what are you doing at the shoemaker house for for the Super Bowl? Um, nothing much. Nothing much. No. It's it's the. Did you know? Here's the saddest. I, I have uh, all of these sort of uh, trivia things about the Super oh, Bowl. Oh boy! You want to hear the saddest one? <laughs> this this is it. Is there anything? Uh, where's more the number? Pathetic. Five percent of Americans eat? will watch the Super Bowl alone. Five percent. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I, you know. I've watched the Super That's Bowl. That's actually pretty low. I think there's probably more than 5% of people that live alone, which means that the majority of people who live alone are out watching it with friends. That's right. That's and it's the commercials so, and the halftime. That's what everybody So it's once loves. again half full for you. Look at you, the optimist. Hey. Okay. <laughs> well, we want to thank uh, again our guest, Colleen Shoemaker, for joining us in thank the studio. You. Lulu, it's great having you here. <laughs> Maybe you'll be here every week. Thanks for having me. Uh, We want to remind our listeners that this broadcast is a part of an outreach ministry of the New Day Foundation for Families, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that serves children who have lost a parent to cancer. If you'd like to learn more or offer a donation online, you can visit foundationforfamilies.com. And, of course, everything else that we talk about on the show is available on mikeng.com. Mike, A-N-D, the letter G, dot com. Now it is about 8.29 in the morning, and he has given you a new day. What you do with it is up to you. We'll see you next Saturday.